we're in Ohio. Yup, if you watched last week, we were in Ohio at Mosquito Lake State Park. And now we're back on the highway headed to Pennsylvania. Lee keeps trying to steal my thunder. Anyway, yeah, like I was saying, we're back on the highway and we're headed to Pennsylvania to Hickory Run State Park. Pennsylvania, D and Lee have arrived. We made it. Five hours driving and out at Hickory Run lake state oh my god guys I, I... this place is just it's huge one there's not a lot of people booked at this time of year the trees are just full of color they are just amazing this one is gonna be fun to explore Here we go, guys. There it is, site 53. And beautiful Betty, along with beautifully, as we walk this beautiful trail with the beautiful little lady and handsome D. <laughs> at Hickory, Hick, what is it, babe? Hickory Lake. Yep, we're at Hickory Lake, guys. <laughs> Guys, we're at Hickory Run State Park in Pennsylvania. Where I'm whispering because I she'll get uh, upset, but she will never remember where we're going ever. I don't care if I wrote it on her hand. <laughs> anyway, we're taking the beach trail right now. We're gonna head up to the beach, see what that looks like. Shades of Death Trail. Nah. No, we're not. <laughs> we're gonna take the beach trail. Life's a beach. Life's a beach, yes it is, my love. Ah, uh, look at this. Look at this, guys. You know how there's like different style campgrounds? This is my favorite type where it's rustic, it's still, there's pave, there's pavement. Right. And there's trails right next to you. Right. Yeah, it's not like, um... It's rustic enough still. Chamong. Chamong seemed very corporate almost. Uh, if that's yeah. even... I get it when you say that. It, like very structured. It was training. really structured, yes. Cookie like, cutter. Yes. Yes, this. And you have this. I mean, I actually, look cars. at that. Look at the berry bushes. <laughs> um... You see the different aspects you get out of this one trail? You get so many different aspects out of this one trail. We went through an open field and we've probably only walked around a half mile so far. We went from walking through the campground, past campsites, through an open field with a bunch of berries and beautiful oak trees, pine trees, but then you end up here basically into a, just a pine forest pine needles all on the ground and it's not one of those skinny little trails you could tell this is thoroughly used and this is what you call beauty guys and i don't care who's looking uh, at this uh, the eye of the beholder saying i don't care who it is I spit it out, D. I guess what I'm trying to say is whoever walks the trail can't deny its beauty. I swear, this is like, I think my most favorite trail we've ever taken. Oh, I think this might be a beach. Yep, this is Sand Spring Lake. 
It's only a short distance from the campground itself. Maybe a mile tops, depending on where you're staying. And the hike to get here is one of the most beautiful we've seen yet. After breakfast and a couple cups of joe, we decided to jump in the van and head over to Hickory Runs Boulder Field. This drive to Boulder, Boulder Run, it's like taking a beautiful hike but driving. Here we are y'all in the back country. Woods as far as the eye can see. We are out here or in here. It's one road, ruddy, bumpy, one way, and we can't turn around, so we're stuck on it. Yeah, I didn't do my homework. This is several miles away from the campground, and you have to head down a long, ruddy, holy, muddy dirt road. And man, you are in the woods. And we got a two-wheel drive vehicle. Ah, oh, man, I think we messed up, y'all. It might've been a little stressful getting here, but it was well worth it. Listen to the excitement in our voices as we finally lay our eyes on this natural wonder. So here we are at Hickory Runs Boulder Field. This is a natural national landmark. This natural landmark is located in the northeast corner of the park. You can get here by vehicle or you can take a four mile hike. And that's from the far end of the campground. From where we were, we're looking at around seven miles. It is amazing. And it's around 16 and a half acres. This is the largest of its kind in the northeast. And some of these boulders range from three feet to 30 feet. Studies have shown that the field has been exposed for nearly 600,000 years. Due to the uniqueness of this field, it has been named a national natural landmark, and I can see why. Doesn't she look so cute, guys? Look at her. Oh, I want anything. Well, tentatively, I guess it's time for us to go check out this Shades of Death Trail. This horribly named trail is located in the southwest corner of the Poconos, and it's around a mile long. It runs alongside Sand Spring Run, and it cascades down a few beautiful man-made waterfalls along the way, like this one here. All right, let's go check out these sites. Let's start here at site 156. This is actually on the trail to the beach. This is site 155. Underneath those beauties. Man. Site 154. Look how big that is. Oh, look how big that is. 
it's like 152. Nothing but woods behind you. You're all alone. And there's a couple sites across the way, which I just showed you from 153. Site 158, I would highly suggest uh, if you have a, a smaller camper, van, pop up, it, the beauty around it, and then you have bathrooms right there, and the trail to the beach is right there, so it's only around a half a mile or so, not even to the beach, but I would highly suggest that site i'm sure there's going to be a lot of a lot of others but for now from what we've seen i would suggest it highly all right site 51 there uh site 50 and then inside here oh we have site 49 Imagine 48 but as you can see there's water spread throughout and this is our section yep so site 48 there I, I would highly suggest our section um, unfortunately it's not full hookup there's no electric but it is gorgeous and spacious and most of them are somewhat flat this guy here you got the hill that goes down in, but it's flat when you get there. And that's site 47. Um, down in here, looks gorgeous. Let's take a walk. It's starting to get dark. I want to show you as much as we can. We've only got a few days here. Um, we've just been filming and driving. Site 69, filming, driving and haven't had time for ourselves this time around. I mean, we're talking five, six hour drives, jumping out and hitting the ground running. So we wanna take at least the next two days for ourselves, which would be a first for us, for two seasons, and then we're gonna start season three, which we're looking forward to. So here you go, here's our loop that we're at. And um, this is site 67 here. Again, gorgeous. Average size. Fire pit table, no hookups. But it is a quiet section. There's only three of us here. I don't know if it's because it's the time of year and we notice this time of year, that's generally the case. And that's why we like coming out this time of year. Um, but there you go. Site 73, site 74 and 75. I'm sorry I'm blowing through these quick like this, guys. And it's not just because the sun's going down. It's because there's so many. And I, I want to show you as many as I can. Like this portion here, um, sites 97 through 108. It actually goes way down in there. Um, we might have to come back. I might slow down, guys. There's a lot to see. Let's take a look at the sites with electric and hookups. Around a third of the sites here have hookups. There are cabins. Um, there's almost 400 sites. There are cottages. It's pet friendly. There's water spread throughout. Some sites have bear proof lockers. There's showers, restrooms with hot water. And for folks like Lee and I, this park is open all year. There's also group sites and walk-in tent sites. All right, here's a quick preview of what we got coming up in the next couple weeks. We're gonna visit Mystic KOA. We're also gonna visit Fisherman's Memorial in Rhode Island. So make sure you guys are back here every Wednesday at 7 p.m. so we can try to help you out and help you find the perfect campground and perfect campsite for your next adventure. And we're out of here. Time for me to watch Lee break it down. Subscribe now.